The rumors have been confirmed. The movie is out. Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character Helena does indeed punch Indiana Jones at the end of the film. And not only is it an absolute disaster, but <laughs> Phoebe Waller-Bridge says it's glorious. I mean, are you kidding me? It's glorious to punch out the hero because the hero is an idiot because he's not actually being a hero. Well, she thinks it's glorious. This is what she told Entertainment Weekly. She, she says, it's such a brilliant cut and it's such an excellently scripted moment. And particularly because there's so much fighting and left hooks and all that stuff all the way through the film when she's just fighting the bad guys. But to, ha but ha to have to level a punch to the hero of the film, it was glorious because it was so funny. Funny. They literally, she thinks it's great because it's funny. Are you kidding me? How are these people even part of these projects? It's because they're used to demoralize you. They're used to destroy these projects. That's all these people are doing. They think it's funny to emasculate, to punch out the hero, to destroy the hero. They think it's funny. I mean, these people are sick, sick, sick people. Uh, we go on here and says the British star laughs when EW tells her that at both screenings we've attended audience loudly cheered at that moment. I'm really curious because a lot of the photos I'm seeing, not many people are going to see this film. And we even had really poor box office returns on Thursday night previews, 7.2 million. That's even below the flash, which did over 9 million. So yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> how many people were cheering at that. Uh, for some, <laughs> I think EW might be maybe telling a little bit of a fib here. Uh, I don't really trust them. But anyways, she says this makes Waller Bridge laugh, but she hopes viewers understand her character's decision in that in the moment. Underneath it, it really had heart and emotion, and that's really a testament to Jim James Mangold and the Butterworths, those are the writers, for writing a moment like that. I hope the audience understands why she does it. Absolutely not. I hope the, the audience will never understand why she does it. They'll never understand why this was directed into this film. They'll never understand why it was written, because it's absolutely stupid and idiotic. It makes Indiana Jones look like a complete and utter loser who is clearly doesn't understand that he needs to make the right decision there, and he's clearly not making the right decision. She's the one who has to make the decision for him. And then on top of that, not only did she make the decision for him, she mocks him by punching him in the face, punches an old man in the face in order to, for him to go back in time. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this movie needs to just sod off. I hope people don't go see this. Uh, it's a complete and utter mockery.